He is very mad that he can't climb up the stairs yet. Come on, buddy. Come on. Good morning, Bo. You still a little bit tired? You did so good last night. Good morning, everybody. Last night was our first night with Bo here sleeping. I slept downstairs on the couch with him because we did order him a crate. Some of you guys were wondering. We are planning on crate training him, but all the crates at Petco were like, over $60 at least and so I was like I'll just order one on Amazon for $30 so that's what I did ordered him a crate and a little bed to put in there for like his own space but until it gets here I think tomorrow I'm gonna be sleeping downstairs with him um, just because I think upstairs would be a little too much but he did so good he slept most of the night actually he slept really good and I was really impressed because I thought he was gonna be waking me up constantly and he really didn't he did go potty in the house once or twice but I kind of expected that because I can't take him outside to go potty until later in the day because he hasn't gotten his puppy shots yet because he wasn't a planned puppy the owner wasn't around I guess and so someone was taking care of them and they didn't get the shots that they needed so we're going to the vet in about 20 minutes to get some puppy shots and then I'm gonna ask her at the vet just when I can take him outside if I can take him in the backyard so we can start puppy potty training rather than using the puppy pads I just got those because because I didn't know yet and I wanted to make sure he didn't get any diseases or anything. We're about to leave, we're gonna go to the vet. We're gonna go to the same vet that Marley goes to and they're super sweet and nice so I'm really excited. And everyone is going to just swoon over this last guy, little guy. And my other little guy is doing so good. Bo can't climb up the stairs yet so he's still got the whole upstairs to himself. And he was snuggling me this morning, and I'm so proud of him. He is very mad that he can't climb up the stairs yet. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Okay, well, he did not very much enjoy that car ride because he wanted to ride in my lap, and I'm driving alone, so I had to push him back onto the seat. So he's not very happy right now, but... We just got to the vet, so we're gonna go get some shots. Poor guy. You guys, this is the perfect puppy. He is so calm and sweet at the vet. Like, <laughs> look at you. You are going to be the best ESA ever. <laughs> there was a lady in the waiting room who had a, a black lab, and they were just in love with each other, and it reminded me of Marley. It was so sweet. I can't wait for him and Marley to meet and actually be able to play once he gets his shots, and he's a little bit older. Okay, guys, I just got home from the vet. It went pretty good. She said that they can't do a lot of the shots until he's exactly eight weeks, because I guess he's only seven weeks and a few days. Oh, look. Hey, mister, are you gonna come say hi? You are doing so good. I'm seriously impressed. Like, he's not super stoked on the dog, but he's letting him sniff him and pet him. It's so sweet. Good job, mister. <laughs> But anyways, they couldn't do like shots and stuff this week, so they scheduled us on, we're on like a puppy plan now, but we'll go back next week and get his shots and stuff, but they did like deworm him and all that kind of stuff that they could do. And now I think I'm gonna put him in the bathroom, and I don't have a crate yet, that's why. I'm gonna put him in the bathroom, I'm gonna go run some errands, put a bed in there, a puppy pad, and hopefully he doesn't pee and poop all over the place. Go run some errands. I need to get him a harness to start potty training him because the vet said I can take him in the uh, yard as long as it's my yard and not like another yard. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go get a harness because um, the other collar is way too big on him and just pick up a few more things for him but I can't bring him with. So he's gonna stay here in the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, I think you're all set up. I'm only gonna be gone for like 45 minutes, maybe an hour, okay? And I can't, I gotta put you in there and run away so I don't hear you whine, cause I'll get so sad. I think Mr. will be happy for a little bit to be able to roam the house though. Okay, you guys know that I am already head over heels for Bo. 
but it is definitely nice to get out of the house for a little bit without him and get stuff done because owning a puppy is a lot of work like you guys gotta watch them like constantly and make sure they're not eating or pooping or doing anything they're not supposed to be doing basically so I'm kind of exhausted and happy to be out of the house for a little bit I did stop at TJ Maxx and I picked him up a harness to take him to do potty training and then the little tiny treats for potty training and I picked up mr. a little mat for his food because he's been making a big mess recently and I want to make sure also that like his food is separate from puppy dogs food so they know like whose is whose now I'm gonna go get some lunch because I am starving I have not eaten really today and I told you guys I need to be better about eating I'm gonna get pokey because again it is the best and I will not be able to have it again when I hopefully get pregnant again so I am enjoying it while I can so I'm gonna go get some pokey and then I'm probably gonna head back home and then later I'm gonna go take puppy to go meet some people I'm so excited What do you think, mister? Do you think you did good? Hey, Bo. Did you do so good? Were you just hanging out? Yeah, you missed us, huh? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, let's go try and go potty. Let's go try it. Such your typical puppy. He's chewing on the rope. Not all about this leash right now, but we'll see if he gets better. Let's go try and go potty. Come on. Just sitting? Come on. Go. Did you go? Good boy. You did it. Good boy. Good boy. I forgot to bring the treats outside. I'm so sorry. You're still such a good boy. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> You did such a good job, you guys. He like went out there and automatically went pee and I totally forgot to bring his treats outside. So I didn't give him a treat, but I tried to give him a ton of praise. He's chewing on his harness right now. He's not a fan, but he did so good. I'm so proud of you, buddy. Anyways, I wanted to answer some of your guys' questions that you had about him in the comments and on my Instagram post. Um, yes, he is an Australian Shepherd. He's a blue merle color. He has one blue eye and one brown eye. He's not blind in one eye. He just has one blue eye and one brown eye. He is almost eight weeks old. He is so much fun. He's definitely a puppy puppy. Look at him. He is chewing on his harness. Here we are planning on crate training him. His crate just doesn't happen to come in the mail until tomorrow. So last night and tonight are going to be a little bit more difficult just sleeping with him downstairs. But once the crate gets here, I think it'll help a ton. He'll have his own space kind of thing. Mister is adjusting to him pretty well. I'm very impressed with him, honestly. I thought he was going to be much worse and he's been doing so, so good. The reason we chose to get an Australian Shepherd was we were gonna wait till like the right one comes around. I think I was talking to my mom and said, I don't care if it takes a few months for the right dog to come around. I just think it'd be a good idea. The reason we chose an Australian Shepherd breed was because they're known to be work dogs. Like they like having a specific job. And so we thought it'd be perfect for what we were looking for, for an ESA. And he is so far doing such a great job. I'm so proud of him. And lastly, I definitely know the difference between people saying that there's a difference between service dogs and ESA dogs. Completely different thing. This is just for me to help with my anxiety and my grief. A service dog is trained for so, so, so long um, to work with people with actual disabilities that need them. And so I don't necessarily at all need a service dog, but an ESA dog for me is just perfect. The only reason I even mentioned getting a vest for him was because my trainer person that we are planning on going to recommended it for just during his training so he doesn't get distracted people don't come up to him because he is so cute everyone's going to want to but it might be distracting for his training so that's why he recommended a vest because people tend to stay farther away when they see the vest I think that's the most of the questions that we got but I'm loving loving on this little guy <laughs> he went and having so much fun with him and I cannot wait for Justin to meet him and for everybody to meet him like he's gonna go meet some friends later and I'm so excited about it <laughs> And you want mama's pokey, huh? Every time I get pokey, mister is all over it and wants it n all of it for himself. But I did get you a mat, buddy. This is for you. This is for your food to go on. You'll probably scratch it up. Yep, there you go. That's for you, though. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. You can't have it, buddy. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
I gotta teach you not to bite. Come on, chew this instead. Look at your little legs. <laughs> okay, you guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog for the day. We have a long night ahead of us again with Bo waking me up probably again every half an hour until his crate gets here. So I am gonna get in and get prepared for the rest of the night. We love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And we three will see you again very, very soon. Good night.